Hello everyone, my name is Rovena and I'm Savina and you're watching This Associate. In today's video, we are going to be talking about the Isn't Trees Hyaluronic Acid Watery Sun Gel. If you are a skincare freak like us, I'm pretty sure you have come across this particular sunscreen all over Instagram. It has been the latest hit in the skincare slash sunscreen world recently. I have been using this sunscreen for quite a while now. Uh, in fact, I'm done with my first bottle and I'm almost at the end of my second bottle. And I have been using it for around two, yeah, two weeks now. Now let's dive straight into the review of the product. Now this one is a chemical sunscreen which means that it works by absorbing the UV rays coming from the sun and converting them into heat. Unlike physical or mineral sunscreens which work like a barrier on top of your skin to block the UV rays. Now since this one is a chemical sunscreen, it has no filters like titanium dioxide or zinc oxide which you find in physical slash mineral sunscreens. So fortunately it won't give you a sort of a white cast that mineral or physical sunscreens generally tend to give. It is also SPF 50 plus and PA plus 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 so it is bound to give you great protection from the sun but if you are outdoors we recommend you know reapplying every mm -hmm. two or three hours for maximum maximum protection from the sun. Now let's quickly talk about its texture. Now this sunscreen is very very lightweight but at the same time it's neither too runny not too thick yes so it's just right in the middle in that sweet little spot and it works perfectly on probably everyone's skin skin types yeah it works well for me exactly yeah she has dry and i have oily skin yeah. so it's very different but it works excellently for the both of us it's non-sticky and it absorbs wonderfully and very quickly on the skin now in addition to this being a wonderful sunscreen, it also is a great hydrating product for your skin. It contains 8 different types of hyaluronic acid with different molecular weights so that it provides you great or you know the ultimate kind of hydration for your skin in addition to its SPF. I actually experienced this firsthand because I am currently going through tretinoin for my face and acne. Mm. So with tretinoin comes great dry skin and peeling dry skin that too. Mm. But this hyaluronic sunscreen has helped so much with that dry peeling skin of mine. Even if I don't wear moisturizer in the morning, mm. just the sunscreen alone helps to keep my face hydrated and moisturized for a long time. In fact, I have noticed that too. I'm not on tretinoin, but I'm on adapalene, a little lighter version of retinol for my acne as well. And this also tends to give you dry skin just like tretinoin. So for me also, this sunscreen has been doing a lot of wonders. Along with all the wonderful properties that we have mentioned, it is also alcohol free as well as fragrance free. So if you are sensitive to fragrances or allergic to fragrances and alcohol, this might actually be a really good sunscreen for your skin type. It is also sweat resistant and the product also claims to be water resistant. Now we can vouch completely for the sweat resistant part. Uh, I wear it throughout the day mm -hmm. in the hot UAE summers and mm -hmm. it works completely alright and I think even for you it yeah, works well, it right? works excellent. In terms of it being sweat resistant. Mm -hmm. Now water resistant, we haven't really tried this on a cool day mm -hmm. or while we've gone to the beach. So we can't 100% vouch for the water resistance part of it. Mm -hmm. As good as the sunscreen seems to be, and mind you, it is actually very, very good. I did notice one little small thing that I didn't like as much. And that is that it makes my skin a little oily. Mm -hmm. Since my skin is already oily, yes. it does not sort of help to control it it just adds on to it so you know as soon as i apply it maybe an hour or two later my skin is very very shiny oh, so i just have to blot it down either oh, with a really? tissue paper oh, or like a blotting okay. paper but that is the only bad point that i sensed in this or noticed in this there's nothing else really that i i felt about this sunscreen for me there's absolutely no bad points because i have a drier skin type mm -hmm. and this works like magic for me so we'd like to give this sunscreen a 4.5 out of 5. So that was it for today's video guys. We really really hope you liked this one. Make sure to like, share and subscribe to our channel and also comment down below if you have anything to say to us, if there's any sunscreens that you've used in the past which you've liked, which you've not liked perhaps or also come and follow us on our Instagram and uh, just connect with us. Alright then, we'll see you in our next video. Bye! Bye.